and to be honest i feel like this style you either love it or you absolutely hate it i know a lot of people absolutely hate this combination i don't know if any of you guys saw this in my background let me know if you saw it hey guys welcome to my channel i'm jess if you love shopping and handbag videos please like and subscribe to my channel i wanted to share with you a bag that i bought actually a few months ago i didn't want to show you guys until it was closer to my birthday just because i was trying to spread out the unboxings and to be honest in my head i feel like okay this is the last bag i'm gonna save this for later and then i end up buying another bag and then i'm like okay this is the last bag i just can't help myself i was gonna save this for my birthday which is in one month but i thought you know i don't really know what to film today to be honest so i'm gonna do this unboxing and you know i didn't want to make a big deal of it either because it's not a birkin or a kelly guys it's you probably can guess what it is from the shape of the box as well if you're an Hermes collector. Yeah, but you know, what color is it guys? What type is it? I have only got this a few months ago and I've used it one time because I hadn't shown you guys yet. I thought, oh, I better save it for like a special time. And I've been hiding it in my background as well. I don't know if any of you guys saw this in my background. Let me know if you saw it. Let's have a little look what it is. I actually asked my sales associate for this combination. I went to the boutique the next day to pick up an online order and they surprised me with it, which was really like very lucky because it's not often at Hermes you can get the exact thing that you're after. But I think because this particular combination is in season, it was um, available. And to be honest, I feel like this style, you either love it or you absolutely hate it. I know a lot of people absolutely hate this combination and yeah i mean i get it as well but let me just stop blabbing on guys and let's have a look at what it is so i've kind of like set it up already i've taken like most of the packaging off so <laughs> it's a bigger tin <laughs> again yeah, so this is not true unboxing. So this is the Lucky Daisy Pico Tin in Swift Leather, Morph Sylvester. And yes, I know, it's very cute. So you can see the color is absolutely gorgeous, the Morph Sylvester. It's um, actually a part of the Purples family for Hermes. It's actually not a pink, but I would say it's pretty pink, this color. It's not as, like, it's a bit more purpley compared to Rose Sakura. So I have like a little Rodeo Charm in Rose Sakura. You can see um, that you it's a bit of a difference there with the pinks. But I feel like because this has the Lucky Daisy print on it, it also kind of changes the effect that the colour has. Uh, so the Lucky Daisy kind of print, it's actually, I think, printed onto the bag. Let me know if I'm wrong, guys. I tried to ask my sales associate about it and they wanted to find out more information as well so i might have to ask them again i should probably should have found that out before i film this video but you can see it's got this daisy print all over it and the daisies are like very small horseshoes if you can kind of see that yes it's got the lock there i still have the sticker on the lock i have to take that off this also came in the micro size so i told my sales associate i wasn't I was okay with micro or 18. Then they asked me after I got this, would you still be also interested in the micro size? I thought about it and I thought, oh, I don't know. I, let me know, guys, if you have the micro size, do you love it? But I just thought um, there's not a huge price difference between the micro and the 18. And I know I use my um, Rose Extreme size 18 all the time. So I just thought probably good to like just stick with the 18 because I probably will use it more it's just like more of a convenient style that I can put my like bigger cosmetics bag in whereas the micro one it's it's really cute but I feel like it's like a little baby's bag but I really like that one as well so I don't know if I was going to get the micro one I definitely get it in a different color like either the chai colorway that the daisy comes in or the there's like a white one with like green little daisies on it so I I don't know but I wouldn't get the more Sylvester again I feel like that's too much the same thing but I don't know if I should get the micro one probably I don't know I've seen recently they're actually doing the micro one in exotics as well which oh my gosh that would be a fortune exotic pico tins guys are so expensive I was like shocked but it makes sense I mean exotic 
anything at Hermes is really expensive, but um, I, yeah, I'll be interesting to see if Hermes does more micro picatins in like normal leathers or variations, like if they start doing it in Clemence leather or even, I don't know, Epsom or something. Micro Picatin, I've only ever really seen in like seasonal variations. I know in the past they also did different seasonal variations, but anyways, I feel like the micro one is very much a collector's piece, but I got the 18 and I feel like I'm gonna use it a lot because it is just that like good in-between size, not too big, not too small. Currently got it decorated with my little buddy charm. So I was just hiding him, but I just think that this combination with the buddy is really so cute. Um, I got this buddy charm, I actually unboxed it a while back, but this is in the color mauve pale. So you can see it's also part of the purple Lee family, I suppose, but it's like a lighter color. Actually, when I got this Picotin, my sales associate also sold me another rodeo charm as well or they sold me this pegasus as well and i bought them together with this bag because this pegasus is the same kind of color scheme as this bag and i had them on i had this pegasus on this bag that looks really cute as well um it's got chai morph sylvester and i think cray or nata can't remember but then i thought it kind of looks even cuter with the buddy charm on it i don't know why like this big fluffy dog I kind of liked that combination more. This kind of gets almost lost in the the pattern a little bit. But anyway, I, I really like that as well as another option for a charm. This one is probably a little bit more delicate compared to my Clemence. You can see the Clemence is, um, this one is from like 2017, 2018. I can't remember, but I picked this up pre-loved for a really good deal. And you can see that um, it's in a grainy leather, whereas this one is in a smooth leather, so it's swift. And actually, the way that this, like, behaves, it's definitely a lot more slouchy compared to, like, a new Clemence, because it's like a thinner kind of um, leather, it feels like. It's, like, a bit more floppy, and I do, at the moment, have, like, a Samorga insert inside. Without it, it literally just collapses in on itself. Yeah, I just think that this is such a cute little bag, and... I actually, a lot of people don't like the Lucky Daisy print because they say it's not very like Hermes to do that, like, which I would agree. Like, when I think of, like, this kind of, like, laser printing on bags, I definitely feel like that's very Louis Vuitton. Like, you know, when they did the Takashi Murakami and they did all the cherries on the, um, the monogramming or, like, the Stephen Sprouse or even, like, the Vivian pochettes, they all have that, like kind of laser print effect on them. I feel like that's very Louis Vuitton to do that, but it's weird that Hermes did kind of like a print on a bag, but I'm loving it, guys. They're actually doing it a lot more recently, even in some of the, like, Bastia coin purses, I think, or Calvi uh, card holders. I've noticed they do uh, these really funky prints on them, and I really love the look of them. I actually saw one in the boutique as well and I could have bought it but it was in like a white color so I was like I'm definitely going to trash that because it's a wallet but it, they're really cute little collectibles. Um, but yeah in a bag it is kind of juvenile. It's very like to me it's not very Hermes to do this but I do like how silly it is and how random and it all I also think it looks a little bit like lace like the way they've done it from afar it looks like a lace kind of um, overlay has been put on the Picotin. And yeah, I just feel like this Picotin, it looks a little bit more like girly and almost like dressy, like a little, like you could wear it with a fancy dress. Whereas this one is a little bit more, I don't know, just a little bit more of a different vibe. So yes, I have two pink Picotins now, but I feel like they're kind of different in a way. And you know, this is one of my favorite bags. So for me, I had no hesitation and Oh, am I going to buy any more Hermes bags, guys? Like, probably. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, but I, yeah, I don't know, guys, because I feel like um, if I was going to buy, oh, I don't know, I actually really like the So Kelly, like the shoulder bag, but I know I can only get that on the pre-love market, and I really love um, the Kelly Ado as well, like the Kelly backpack, and I also really love, uh, I would love to get a Birkin 25 as well, but Again, like, I'm not sure if I would get offered that at the boutique. Like, I I might, guys. Like, I've, I've probably spent enough to be offered a bag, but I just, I don't know. Also, like, that's a lot of money. I don't know if I'd 
want to spend that much right now so yeah there's definitely more Hermes bags I want to buy but you know this one I, I I pretty much bought it because I just liked the lucky daisy print so I thought I'd better ask my sales associate about it and I really love Morph Sylvester as well and I know if I was going to get Morph Sylvester in like a Birkin or a Kelly would be really expensive so um, this was like an opportunity for me to collect that color but I don't know I really like the color bubblegum as well um, but I don't know if I would get that in a Birkin or Kelly I, I was kind of thinking should I but now I'm kind of thinking if I was going to get a Birkin 25 I don't know what color I would get I honestly would really just like black but if I was offered something at the boutique, maybe I would just say yes to any colour. I, I don't know. I know colour is really important, but yeah, I don't know. I'm just, I'm a little bit of a collector here, guys. I'm just like loving experiencing all the different colours, all the different leathers. And yeah, I'll keep you guys updated on how I use this one. To be honest, this one is a little bit of a collector's piece. I just love the print on it. I think it is so cute and it's probably gonna be like rarer in the future i feel maybe not but i'll be curious to see if hermes do more of these like printed picotin bags because you don't often see that i know they also do like funky prints on their her bags but yeah it's not something that you always see and yeah there's gonna be a lot of like cool new bags coming out soon so maybe i'll do a video on that as well i saw there's gonna be like a big kelly bag like a, with a strap and uh, there's also going to be a few other like hobo bags, like this buddy pocket bag and, uh, you know, like a Kelly kind of bag with a strap. Anyways, thanks for watching my video today. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, let me know, what do you think of the Lucky Daisy Picotin? I'll talk to you guys on my next one. Bye!